Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Pinhead Porky here. Like a Pinhead sat here, don't I? Right, Manny Pacquiao show. Anyway, that's the only one I liked on that. I'll tell you a few statistics about Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, in pay-per-view alone, has raised one and a half billion. 1.5 billion, right? pay-per-view revenue from flyweight to light middle or super welter eight weights five lineal titles if ever, if ever that exists you don't get a belt for lineal by the way five lineal free rank free ring magazine belts professional since he was 16 years old 16 now as far as I'm concerned, right, Manny Pacquiao is an all-time great. What he's just done there to Keith Furman, age 40, coming up 41 at Christmas. Age 40, coming up 41, he's just done that to Keith Furman, who was age 30. So there's 10 years between them and he's just beat him on points. Dropped him as well, apparently. So... It is what it is, isn't it? But Manny Pacquiao, great fighter. Look what he did to Ricky Hatton. Iced him. Now, well done, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, where does he go from here? Well, obviously, Manny Pacquiao is going to be looking for money fights, isn't he? Same as Floyd Mayweather. He's going to want to fight him again, isn't he? They're going to want to create some... Uh, intense beef things like that but it is what it is isn't it it is what it is but uh what can you do it's just one of them things it's uh it's boxing isn't it it's a, it's a filthy horrible sport behind the scenes and i'm losing a little bit of passion for it I think I don't know it'll probably come back in the next few days but the fakeness and the frauds that are in boxing is unbelievable uh, but getting back to Manny Pacquiao I thought I thought that he fought brilliantly and uh, Eddie Hearn screech you know keeps going on about that people think that Manny Pacquiao is a fraud you know, things like that. People coming out with stuff like that is, and that he's a cheat. Eddie Earns saying that people in the industry are saying he's a cheat. Well, people in the industry were saying Joshua's a cheat, Eddie. I mean, he had, he had all that time off after the Olympics, didn't he? You didn't like that. Joshua's never failed a drug test. And Manny Pacquiao has never failed a drug test. So, you can't have it both ways, Eddie. You can't have it both ways. But Manny Pacquiao, great, great boxer. You know, he's, he's won another world title. He's an eight division world champion. And I think they fight fighting nine divisions altogether. They fight at, at, at the one below the, the flyweight. Did he fight at light fly? Or did he start at 112 and go up to 154? I don't know, is it eight or nine divisions? I think he's a world champion in eight divisions, isn't he? So, it is what it is, isn't it? But bottom line is this, right? Bottom line is this. Manny Pacquiao is an all-time great. And if Amir Khan can get a fight with him, that's good, isn't it? That's really good. But I don't, I don't think that he's going to uh, beat Manny Pacquiao. Not after what I've seen him do to Thurman. I think Amir's on his last legs now. It's just about money. And that's what boxing is. It's about money. But well done to Manny Pacquiao, well done to Manny Pacquiao's team, so well done.